Standing, we're going to pray today, but see, standing, I want you to go back to our Bible reading in Luke chapter 1, verse 30. I want us to read together Luke chapter 1, verse 30. Are you there? The media, can we go there? Shall we read one to go? And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. You see, read another scripture with me. That is First Kings chapter 18, verse 1. First Kings chapter 18, verse 1. Shall we read together one to go? And it came to pass after many days. Word the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Lord, I pray that you will send the rain. Amen. Let there be rain of favor Amen. upon your people this month and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Please be seated. This morning I will be speaking on the manifestations of favor. The manifestations of favor. There are three things that work together. That God releases into the lives of people. We talk about mercy. We talk about grace. And we talk about favor. When God shows mercy unto a man, it is because it is not what that person has done, but because the person reach out unto God and is seek and I mean seeking for mercy if a sinner comes to God and say Lord be merciful unto me as a sinner no matter what that person has done the sins shall be forgiven so when someone is at a place of judgment and the person is to be condemned and he seek the face of God for mercy that's why we say mercy triumphs over judgment the second thing is grace God gives grace to the weak to the humble to the helpless and when God releases grace grace is an ability that God puts into the life of a man that what you know that ordinarily you cannot do you begin to have capacity to do it it is grace we are saved by grace God releases grace upon the life of a man that ordinarily when mercy show forth and God forgives sins and grace is released and by that grace that person begin to live a triumphant life you begin to live above sin God begin to help such a person hallelujah so when mercy has worked for a man when grace is operating the life of a man in the outside don't forget God gives what? gives mercy God gives grace and 
these two we combine together and put favor upon the life of a man and it is that favor that will make man people organizations to begin to have a good thoughts how to help a man it is because there is favor that has put color upon his life hallelujah the first story we read here which we always read you know during Christmas how Jesus was born and we read that Mary was found to be a virgin and Mary being a virgin God sent angel Gabriel to announce to Mary that he is going to bring she's going to bring forth a son but when Gabriel came to Mary the first thing you see in the life of Mary is that she was qualified by mercy there is a life Mary was living that made her to be qualified there was godliness in the life of Mary there was fear of God in the life of Mary and of course by that she has not polluted herself and that's how she was referred to as a virgin she was a virgin she has a positional standing before God she was obedient to God serving God today when we refer to be a virgin we may not be talking about virgin only by the status of somebody who has not messed up or abused herself sexually but we use virgin today we're talking about virgin we are talking about purity purity in all areas of life purity in life purity in character purity in behavior you are pure we said that that can be called a virgin now that was the status of mary but she was not the only one that was virgin a virgin in the land of israel but something find her out something was released upon her life that made her to stand out and that is favor praise god gabriel said when gabriel got to her and the angel said unto her fear not mary for thou hast found favor with god when a man finds favor with god then he will find favor in the sight of men if god does not favor a man no matter how you parade yourself in the presence of your helpers they will not do anything about it and that's why that's why i say hey, he's supposed to help me he didn't help me she's supposed to help me she did not help me and somebody who can come from nowhere and you see the person that you are very close to not doing something for you and is doing it for outsider what differentiates the two of you before that person is that the person has a coloration of favor upon his or her life when god favor a man then human beings have no choice than to favor that person and we are looking at, at the manifestation of favor one thing that god is laying upon my heart that why i said we are going to pray we are saying enough is enough everything that is hindering your progress in life whatever is hindering your manifestation such thing must be out of the way the favor of god must be released upon your life so that men and women anywhere might rise up to favor you and i say that your season of favor has come in the name of jesus coincidentally it was the month of it was the sixth month like this that angel gabriel visited you know mary the bible says in the sixth month gabriel visited mary and said you have found favor with god you have found favor with god when a man finds favor 
I tell you, you don't need explanation. How is going to happen? How, what the process? Because that was what Mary was asking. Mary said, I am a virgin. I don't have a husband. Though I am engaged to a man. But yet, we have not come to the level of, you know, procreation. How can these things be? I don't know a man. I am pure. I don't know a man. How can these things be? And then your graver was not explaining. You have no participation. There is no contribution. It is the almighty God that is going to carry this out. Because the Lord is going to favor you. By this favor, the spirit of God shall come upon you. You will, be con you will conceive by the spirit of God. Who has ever been conceived by the Holy Spirit? Who is that person that has experienced this before? Nobody on the surface of the earth. But Mary was coming out to be the first person that will enjoy a special favor from God. I speak to somebody this month, you will enjoy a special favor. The Almighty God will sing you out in the midst of multitude. The Lord will sing you out to decorate your life, to bless your life, to lift you up. I, I'm saying favor is from the almighty God. Gabriel says it's not because of what you have done. This favor has nothing to do with process. It is God's decision that something will come out of you. What has never happened? And that's why I said the holy person shall be called the child of God. He shall be called the son of the most high. You will give birth to that. You will conceive by the Holy Spirit. I want to tell you this month. Something is about to happen. You know as a pastor I listen to testimony. I hear some of the, you. You don't give testimony to the whole church. But I want to encourage you to give testimony. You know in this church there are no wishes that want to eat your testimony. Don't be afraid. Praise God. I said, praise the Lord. I see the way God is visiting people in the church. Amen. I was talking to someone this morning. When he said that, uh, two people this morning, I was telling someone, I said, they have bought land. How much is the land? 800,000. Now tell me the kind of civil service job you are doing that will be able to gather 800,000 to buy land. And that 800,000, the land worth 3 million. But God favor. And somebody said, pay this. Belongs to a servant of God and said, look, I want to bless you this. Pay this. And the man did not say, if everybody is paying, finally for 3 million in this environment. Now, I want to sell my own land. Even if I want to do you a favor, I can say, okay, pay 2 million. Ah, but the person said, look, you pay 800,000. But even with that 800,000, what kind of job do you want to do before you gather 800,000 together? If it is not God. Hallelujah. Your own time will come. You are the next on the line to be favored by God. And you begin to look at it. Praise God. Another person I said, look, another person we are talking, I said, yes, I said was saying that, oh, my, my, boy, my workshop, I have spent, when he was telling me what he has spent on the workshop, wow. Amen. Some of you that I look at your face, as if nothing did for your pocket. I know nothing did for your pocket. Though. Hallelujah. Nobody shall not come and do them all for me. Praise God. I know God is blessing you. I know God is blessing you. Because I cannot imagine spending such money running to millions. Praise God for your business to be able to stand in this church. So God is visiting lives because some people position themselves so that God will be able to visit them. Hallelujah. Praise God. And people like that are buying lands, people are building houses. Even when you say blocks is 800 naira per what? Per block or 700 naira per block. And people are building. I want to tell you, favor has no explanation. It has nothing to do with whether uh, uh, the country is this and that. Let me tell you, 
you better begin to look away from the country and look up unto God because the almighty God will surprise you all that you need to do this year will not be suspended to next year the Lord will visit you the Lord will favor you the Lord will favor you it was a visitation of God Mary was visited and uh, favor spoke concerning his life and God has said that this time I will have mercy I will favor Zion for the time to favor her the set time has come the set time to favor you has come you see I am not preaching this morning I am just coming from prophetic angle what God says I should declare unto you because we are going to pray very soon that the time to favor you has come when God is visiting others the Lord will visit you also when God is doing for others uh -uh, God is going to visit your life also I'm trusting God those of you that are buying land telling me you are bought land here you have been lying here you will build it from this year the construction will start by the mercy of God by the favor of God but let me tell you you must aspire to great for great things you must have the desire to increase you must have the desire to launch out in the second story that we read there now Samaria has been experiencing drought farming for three and a half years and God now called unto Elijah his servant and it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in Tidodia saying go show thyself unto Ahab and I will send rain upon the heart. It is time to shoot for yourself. Hey, who hears that? It is time to show for yourself. You've been hiding. Elijah has been so well. No, God said, Look, you are the one that I want to use. You are going to make that proclamation. I am bringing rain upon the land. It is time. Show for yourself to Ahab. Let Ahab know let him know that there is somebody called the almighty God and you are the servant of that almighty God let Ahab know that he may be a physical king but there is somebody that dwells in you greater is he that lives in you than he that is in the world and therefore there is nobody you cannot confront there is nobody you cannot stand before Ahab was a killer Ahab was a king but he was a killer it was the one that brought Israel into idolatry that made the door of favor to shut against Israel for three and a half years there was no rain there was suffering everywhere but God said Elijah go and show yourself to Ahab it is time for you show yourself in the midst of people stand out in the midst of your family stand out in the midst of your contemporaries let them know whatever the language they are saying that is not your language bible says when men say they are cast down your own testimony is that i am lifted up this is how to show forth yourself not hiding yourself not begin to speak the language of the world you must understand you are peculiar you are special the hand of god is upon your life if you can stand right before god favor of god is going to come upon you and put color upon your life and the lord said i will send rain i see somebody at god's over your life i will send rain rain of favor is coming your way i say rain, not dew you have been enjoying dew your dew shall be converted to rain it is time for rain everything you desire god will bring it to pass hallelujah i begin to see you you know riding on high places that's my prayer for you some builders i say i am praying for you i am praying for you hallelujah i'm looking for the you know that at the time you get to a level that you don't put, you don't pay offering in naira you may transfer hallelujah praise god i say praise god some people have transferred money i've seen a lot tight because they can't put it inside the envelope there are some money that cannot enter into inside the envelope <laughs> praise god i say praise the lord 
But you must understand that when God sees the heart of a man, what and that whatever lifting he brings along your way, along your path, is for his glory, is for the is for the kingdom, then God will be committed towards your life. You have not seen anything yet. You have not seen anything yet. You have not seen anything yet. I pray for you. I'm praying for everyone that God will raise. Not because, not that God bring people from outside. They will come. But when they come, they are going to meet people that are comfortable. They are going to meet people that are blessed. They are going to meet people that are favored. I want young men, young women in this church that you begin to ride in high places. You begin to control multiple of millions. Because that's your business. The Bible said the beginning may be small, but your later end shall be greatly increased. When favor meets up with what you are doing, it becomes great. It becomes big in your hand. There is nothing God cannot turn around. And I see God turning around your situation, your business everything about your life that shall be a turn around if you believe say amen. amen that is our God that is our God Mary was singled out for favor and there were manifestations of faithfulness in her life God said I want to bring rain <laughs> you know it was not any man that told I mean that prayed for God to even bring rain I hope you know that Yes, it was Elijah that locked up heaven because of their thing that there will not be rain, Abby. And when he locked that heaven, he went and God said to him, because he's a child of God. But one year, Elijah did not talk about rain, rain coming back. Two years, Elijah did not talk about it. Third year. But when it was three and a half years, God said, Okay, Elijah, come, 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 come. I want to bring rain. I am God of mercy. I'm God of compassion. I'm God that gives favor. I'm God that does things. If anybody is to be punished, can be punished. But when I want, want to favor, I want to bring rain. And God is saying concerning everything concerns your life that is bringing rain. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said, go and show yourself uh, uh, unto Ahab. Mercy is called unmerited uh, unmerited but grace is merited why favor is the is the outside manifestation of grace the outside manifestation ah God has favored this person praise the Lord mercy is from God he has mercy on you nobody knows that God has forgiven you your sin Abby in fact we, if you get born again this morning now somebody that you used to drink together when you go back they still want to say, come and drink Abby. but something has happened in your life that now I am born again I have received mercy my sins are forgiven now grace when God put grace upon the life of a man you know he carries grace and because he carries grace but when that grace begins to show forth it will begin to show forth in form of the favor of God that everybody can see and say ah God has favored this man God has done something how do you explain a woman who is not married carrying a baby in fact Joseph was saying what kind of thing is this the woman that I have not touched and Joseph said well look the Bible said Joseph was a good man I'm not going to disgrace Mary Mary must be a, a, good, a, a woman material good character good lifestyle you understand Sina? and whatever has happened <laughs> This man could not fathom, he could not explain and say, well, it is better, let me just leave us. Okay, call Mo, wanted to go and say, Mary, I don't know where you got pregnancy, but look, my hands are clean, I'm not doing it again. But the day previous, God appeared unto him. I said, Joseph, don't be afraid to bring Mary. Hallelujah. The pregnancy she is carrying is of the Holy Spirit. And he's going to give birth to a child. His name shall be called Emmanuel. He shall be great. And God began to speak to Joseph about that child. Hallelujah. Because when, when, when favor begins to manifest in the life of a man, everybody will see. Everybody will begin to have the understanding, okay, that this one, it is not human being. This is God at work. Praise the Lord. 
I said, Praise the Lord. Say, You have found favor in the sight of God. Favor is the announcer of grace. Favor is the announcer of what? Of grace. When you find grace, favor is what announces it. Favor is the announcer of grace. And that's why, you see, you must understand that somebody can have sound of abundance of rain and he will never have rain. Hallelujah. If you look at that story, I don't want to read too many scriptures. He said, Elijah said, told his servant, go and tell Ahab. I can hear the sound of abundance of rain. But sound is different from the actual rain. Praise God. You see, there are people today, you see, what they see here is sound. And the sound and sound and the rain will never fall. But when this man said, I hear the sound of abundance of rain, he did something to that point and that was prayer. Is that not so? Some people say, well, prophet said, somebody has said, I had a dream. Somebody said this, that I'm going to be great. I'm going to be the head in my family. I'm going to do this and that. All those ones are sound. <laughs> Praise God. God told Elijah, I want to bring rain. But Elijah understood that that was a promise. And he has something to do. And that is that he must go and agree with what God has said. So he went to the Mount Carmel and he began to pray. He began to pray because he has declared to Ahab and to all Israel after the killing of the prophet of Baal and said, God is bringing rain. Three and a half years of drought. Three and a half years of famine is coming to an end. And I want to say concerning your life, it doesn't matter what Nigeria economy is. Everything called famine around your life shall disappear. If Congo of rice is sold for 10,000, you will have money to buy it. At times, many of you have become economists and accountants. Some of you, you know, I say, ah, hey, Congo of Gary, hey, Gary, who is eating Gary before? Eh? I was reading a post and somebody said, ah, Gary, it's not good though. You used to be a friend to poor people. Eh? But the poor people cannot get you again. Eh? That the rich people have taken over Gary, you know, and things like that. You know, it was lament lamentation. Don't join them in all this kind of rubbish of lamentation. You understand? Know, you are a different person. If I in the communion this morning, I was saying that look, you are not just going to heaven, you are already in heaven. That is scripture we learned from this morning. He said, You are in the company, you are in the new Jerusalem, you are in the heavenly place. You are in the company of innumerable of countless of angels. You are we are God is. We are here. We are Jesus, the mediator of the New Testament is. Praise the Lord. You are there, and you are even together with the saints that have triumphed. Praise God. Now, you see, many Christians don't know who they are. They don't know your status. That's why you complain. That's why you complain. Your complaint will not do it. People that have been complaining has they change anything? It does not change anything. In your place of work, you analyze, analyze, analyze. When did you become an analyst? Ah, the economy is like this. Is this like this? Yeah, this and that. Ah, 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 and I said now, and they change to uh, uh, the, 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 the national term, which they left for the six years ago. And you know, in Nigeria, are we hail the, what are we hailing in Nigeria? That is your wahala. The president has spoken. What he wanted to do, he has decided to do it. If you don't know it, eh? Me, I can read it, I can sing it from one, from the beginning to the end, the three stanzas. Because that is what we learned when we when we started. But those of you that Gen Z that you did not meet the whole national anthem, a local we now and begin to read it, begin to cram it, 
Praise God. If you go on to go, those of you who want to go for youth, youth, youth service, eh? they will ask you to read it. Your platoon leader will say you read it. So I'm pretty we say you must know it. You must read it. Praise God. But those of us who says that look, good things are coming back. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm kind of person that I love that old national anthem which has become new now. He is very good. But all this arise will compare. We are the compatriots that are rising. Where are they? Eh? <laughs> Do we are compatriots? We don't have it yet. But let's keep on singing Nigeria. We hail thee, our own, their native land. Though tribes and thongs may differ, in brotherhoods we stand. Nigeria's all her proud to serve, our sovereign motherland. Our flag shall be a symbol that truth and just we ring in peace or bow to honor and this we can't as gain to hand unto our children a banner without stay O God of all creation direct our noble cause as us to build a nation we are no man is oppressed and so we peace Benty, Nigeria, maybe. It is, it is prayer. It is prayer. Hallelujah. But 46 years ago, when they brought all this one, Bangudu, Bagudu, Bagudu, Otidijo, in those days, it's reflection. <laughs> Amen. You know, what I'm trying to say is that, look, if we keep on praying for our nation, the way somebody can come around and turn things around, all right? That is what power is. So. Praise God. If God, instead for you abusing the president, abusing them, and talking like that, your talking cannot change things. But your prayer can do a lot of things. When you say somebody is an executive president, and the National Assembly says, yes, things can change, can be turned around. There is nothing God cannot change. I always say that Nigeria is not poor. This country is not poor. Because you don't understand what the economy of this country is doing. How they are draining it every day. We are not in a poor nation. Forget about the debt. You can say hey, we are owing debt. Forget about those debts. If you want to pay those debts, we can pay those debts. If we can, you know, block all the loopholes. And people in power want to do the right thing. Praise the Lord. We can block all those, you know, avenues we can recover as a nation but we need to pray that God who wants to turn things around God will favor this nation and God, you know when you look at the Bible stories there are times that God will bring a Gentile king to bring a turn around is that not so? in the land of Israel to do some things some of the people say and the king of this they have Israel they did this and that what? they were not Jews but when God favors his people, every other thing we have to submit. Nehemiah was to build a wall. He was serving in the palace. He was, a, 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 was, an, was in exile. He was just like a servant in the palace. And he was there. He heard about all the problems after they have taken them away that a lot of other invasions that have even gotten to the point of pulling down the wall of Jerusalem the gates being burnt with fire he had all these things and he was sorrowful the Bible said that he fasted is that not so? he prayed for many days and the king saw him and the king said come, 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 come he was a cup bearer of the king and said look I am saying I use, this is not sickness you are not sick this is a sorrow of heart. If you read that scripture, even Nehemiah was afraid. Because you are not permitted to be sorrowful before king, he will cut off your head. You are a dead person already. But when favor is speaking, everything called judgment and the, what do you call it, tradition and customs is suspended. And he said, this is not sickness. This is sorrow of Tell me what happened. And the man said, why will I be happy? When my people are devastated, when the land of my fathers and the grace of my father, you know, you know, are, 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 are exposed, 
and the walls is, is, is pulled down and the gate is burnt with fire praise the Lord do you think that when UK I mean, I mean British when they give you independence is it their way to give you independence do they want to give us independence then they did not want to give us independence but it happened so for somebody to be saying that ha, the place he has invaded and he has scattered people away you are now concerned about how that place is to be built praise the Lord but somehow the man said ah okay 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 his forefather has I mean caused that havoc and said all right you want to go and build how many days will it take you how long will this journey be what is going to cost you he was asking for the cost let's have the budget eh that is favor let's have the budget and by the time he came to budget don't worry i'm going to do this every vessels that have been taken away from jerusalem shall be restored he will return it every this and that and i'm going to give by gave command to all the provinces where this man will pass through that you must support nehemiah and his team you must supply this. We also will supply timber. We will supply this and that. That is favor. The person that supposed to execute judgment upon, upon Nehemiah began to favor him. And by extension, Israel was favored. I can see God is doing something. The favor of God upon your life shall affect your family. Shall affect your children. Shall extend to every person that surrounds your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And so the building, the Nehemiah walls, was built because there was favor speaking. God favored him. Hallelujah. God favored him. God can favor us as a nation if we continue to pray for favor. Our story will change. All that God has said by prophecy will come to pass. We know that Nigeria will be great. Devil is just a liar. It's going to be great. If you want to jack, I'm not saying you're not jack, but that's not my problem. All right, wherever you want to go, you can go. That's not the issue. But no matter how people are living in this country, those who remain will remain. Those that will prosper in this land will prosper. Those that will move forward will move forward. And the turnaround of this country, we shall all witness it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because God has spoken concerning Nigeria. The devil is fighting for the soul of this country. All the conspiracy of the Western world we fail. It's a matter of time. But we that are the church, we are the light bearer. We must continue to pray. We must continue to make positive confession. We must continue to prophesy over this nation. Looking up unto God to favor this land. God favor this land. That which you have said, Lord, bring it to manifestation. The same thing about your life as we are going to pray now. What are the things God has said concerning your life? You are still hearing sound. The rain is yet to come. It is time for the rain to fall. It is time for the manifestation. It is time for you to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. But there is a place of prayer. All those beautiful things you have seen in your dreams, it is the purpose of God for your life. But you must bat it with prayer. Elijah batted with prayer and he prayed until he told the servant he said look i when one said i can see cloud gathering like the finger of the god of, of, of the hand of god he said go and tell elijah i mean sorry ahab that finger is the finger of god that is about to do something and i see god favoring your life and god favors a man you don't need he doesn't need to take cancer from any man Praise God. In the case, I'm the dead man. And by telling everybody, say, Yes, give it to him. Yes, let him have it. Yes, let even your enemy say, Let him have it. And after he has said that you have it, he says, Why did I say you should have it? Because God has favored you. God has concluded your matter. Enlarge your coast. Think big. You are thinking too small. Praise God. You are looking at Nigerian economy. Hey, some people say, ah, hey, ah, hey, hey. You don't know many of you that park their car now. They say, fuel. Ah, they say, fuel. Ah, well, it's very hard. Oh, ah, a place that is not important. I don't take my car there. This and that. Forget about it. Some people see ride car every day. Amen. But if you agree that, ah, 
it must be management so uh, I will not be taking car to everywhere I will park my car I will take Okada mm -hmm. that is your choice continue to take Okada and pray that Okada will not Okada you praise God but if you pray and say God you give me car you are able to fuel it for me is that alright God you are prosper me you, I will be able to pay my bills you are going to help me I'm not talking about wastage amen you can manage things some of the things we are hearing in seminar you put it in place but at the same time don't join the multitude to murmur or to speak evil you understand that when God favors you he knows what to do about it men also will favor you praise God whether you thought it's about some people now why they are not bothered is that the road you say it is not good they don't pass through the road Abi, they fly you are the one passing the road. When you say the road is bad, they don't know whether the road is bad or not. Uh, fuel is uh, 1,800 naira per liter. Mm -hmm. Dollar is 1,000 something. They are not bothered. They are not bothered. They are human beings. Whether they steal the money or is by the reason of their, of, their, of their labor, of their wealth. Now, that is their own. But you concern yourself and look at what God can make out of your life. The time to favor you the set time has come mary was single out in the sixth month she was single out in this six months of june the lord will sing you out a new story shall be told concerning your life people will give testimony concerning your life because it's not going to be hidden I said, ah, I don't want anybody to know. You know, Yoruba has all these uh, terrible words. When it teach you any banter, fufu and shekini and doa bojeni, Hallelujah. Koti tatoni, to bata, to tabata waya waya kakiri. Praise God. You go nishi for obo. Hallelujah. And there is nothing the enemy can do about that. The time when God favors a man, anybody that want to raise hand against you, is going to meet with the judgment of God rise to your feet and let's pray today i want you to pray and number one thank god god thank you because this june shall be a beginning of a new beginning in my life can you open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the lord lord thank you because from this month of june it shall be the beginning of a new beginning it shall be the beginning of a new thing it shall be the beginning of testimony shall be the beginning of great things give him praise give him worship give him praise give him adoration give him praise give him worship worship the lord thank him thank him lift him up praise his name lift him up praise his name lift him up praise his name thank god the lord will surprise you Lord is your light and uh, your, your light and your salvation. He will lighten your path. You have reasons to dance, you have reasons to sing. In Jesus' name we have prayed. A loud amen. I said you must say, if you don't say amen to my prayer, it's not for you. It's only people that say amen that, that prayer will work for. I said, the Lord will show you mercy. God will lift you up. I want you to pray. Every judgment of the wicked over my life. Father, let it be vacated by your mercy. Every judgment. Say, every judgment. Against my life. Against my business. Against my home. By your mercy, let it be vacated. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I will have mercy upon who have mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. When he says that it should be vacated, means that let it be cancelled. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. I want you to pray, to call upon God. Every judgment of the wicked in the kingdom of darkness what they have decided he shall not stand over my life 
Lord, let it be cancelled. Let that judgment be vacated. Let that order be vacated. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. See every power, every power working against my destiny, any power from my family background, from my neighborhood, from my place of war, every power I command you expire by fire, expire by fire, any power of darkness that is on errand against your life, command them to expire by fire. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Expire by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we have prayed. Pray this prayer that every battle, can I hear you? Every battle against my family, every battle from my foundation that is that is grounding people that is making people to be grounded all such powers I command you by thunder by fire be scattered look at the way you are praying I want you to pray all the powers of darkness that are grinding people that making them to fall they can rise but they will see hand down in the name of Jesus Christ over my life I break such power let thunder scatter them scatter them scatter them scatter them scatter them scatter them In Jesus' name we have prayed. Ah, you remember man bad rock money, all of my king faras in Nuku. You see, I discovered recently that many a times you have the picture of what you want to do. But there is something that has stagnated you in the mind. Something has granted your mind. You know what to do. Paul was saying, he said, the good that I want to do, I cannot do. You understand what I'm saying? The evil I don't want to do is what I do. But you know the good? At times, see, there is no push. That is the prayer I'm praying now for so many people. 
our online prayer and things like that, I discovered that some people there is no longer push in their inner man to fight, to excel. People are backsliding today, their prayer life is going down. No, you are here, but there is no push. You will hear someone, you are something that will make you I will arise. There is a push that says, No, I'm changing my mind today. There are things you have to do in your business, in your career, this and that. You have been thinking about it. You know what to do, but you cannot do it. I want you to pray. You are going to, are you ready to pray? You will pray. Every operation of the kingdom of darkness to ground my life. Whatever is not making me to walk, to take step, whatever is expiring me in my inside, Oh God, by the blood of Jesus, deliver me. Let every you break. Can you pray that prayer in the name of Jesus? Whatever is not making me to take action. You know your prayer life is going down, but you cannot pray. You know what to do, you cannot do it. You know you are backsliding, you are going to sin. But for you to say no, the willpower is grounded. Tell the Lord, say, God, revive me. The power that raised Jesus from the dead. Let that power quicken me. Quicken me from the inside. I am arise. I will arise today. I'm standing. I'm changing position. I'm running the race again. I'm pursuing my goal again. I am moving forward again. In the name of Jesus. Beloruko Jesu. Mioni Farah Sinuku. Oluwao. The power that made Mary to conceive. Let that power enter into my life. The power to conceive. The power to bear. The power to conceive. And the power to give birth to all the ideas. To all my vision. Is that how much you can pray for yourself? Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I am moving forward. Arise and shine. From today, I arise. I begin to shine. I change position. I pursue my goal. I move forward. I move forward. If that, if that is you, shout it in the name of Jesus. I arise. I shine. No power can stop me. From henceforth, I move forward. I shall see by power. Bakopo si kraba shanda, reko si kayaka. never pray another hey man you say my father release angels release angels that will guide me that will lead me release angels that would tell me angel Gabriel came to tell Mary from today you will not lack information information to your greatness will not elude you Say, my father, my father, release angels, release information that will move my life forward. Oh, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let angel begin to walk for me. Let angel begin to run errands for me. Let angel begin to work for me. Show me what to do. Tell me what to do. That I will not miss my way. I will not miss my path in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I move forward by fire let the angel begin to begin to lead me begin to guide me the Bible said they are ministering spirits in 
Jesus name we pray we are getting there gradually you are going to ask for the anointing of favor therefore the Lord God has anointed you with the oil of favor oil of gladness above your fellows you will pray and say God today do you believe God answers prayers let me tell you I, I, I am a testimony I know God answers prayers and some of the testimony things happening around your life it gives me joy that God is answering prayers don't doubt God yesterday we were talking the woman of the Jehovah said, said he said within herself within herself before she got there she had decided that her state must change she said within herself if I can touch if I can touch this month of June you will touch by your prayer you will touch you are going to pray I don't know how much you want and say God single me out for favor when they are looking for people that will be favored God single me out let your favor put color upon my life let the fragrance of favor nobody runs away from fragrance the perfume of favor God puts it upon my life shout the name of Jesus three times you don't say shall we pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name ask for the oil of favor pray in the name of Jesus Christ pray if you pray God will answer you help will locate you I shall not be stranded all of favor progress of favor come upon my life lord i am available lord i'm available put your oil upon me put your fragrance upon me put a perfume of favor upon me let my life move forward in the name of jesus Pray for yourself, pray for your children, pray for your household. No more struggle, no more pain. Lord, move my life forward. Jesus name we pray we're going to round up now I want to give you a chance to pray one prayer more but listen to this if I would wanted to choose career maybe I will not choose pastoring <laughs> hallelujah maybe if God did not call me to do his work I can be making money in order I will still be a Christian <laughs> you understand but if God called me and I'm not the one that called myself and God has given me the assignment over 30 years the proof of my ministry of my calling is the manifestations of God in the life of people that are coming in contact I hear testimonies not only from here from abroad that might have helped we do nobody called me around 2 a.m you know american people don't know that 2 a.m in nigeria is it is their own evening i said sir i've got my status that prayer will pray thank you sir i'll be able to get this i'll be able to get that testimonies come that is the proof of my calling that is what paul said say you are the result, have you? Eh? You are of my apostleship. You are the proof of my apostleship. 
So for you to be in this church or you are connected to this, even those of you that are hearing us online, that you are connected to me and to this ministry and you remain on the same spot, never. It is only if you don't follow instruction. It's only if you are stingy to God, you are stingy to people. <laughs> Praise God. If you are obedient, say if you are, if you, if you are obedient, Hallelujah. If you are willing and obedient, you will hear the fruit of the land. I want you to pray this prayer. This month of June. It doesn't matter. Whether you, if so, those of you that are salary and are going to look for something to do, additional something to do. Praise God. Because God, the only thing God can do on your salary is for your promotion. But do for something you do. It doesn't matter how small it is. Praise God. God will bless that. God will turn it around. Hallelujah. But I want you to pray this prayer. This June, you will give testimony. Testimony of favor. That, ah, sir, it happened. I never thought about it. Help came. That debt was paid. That school fees I cleared. That thing worked out. That thing I wanted to do, there was enlargement. There was breakthrough. People came to help me. That is what the Bible says. The Bible says people you do not know will serve you. They will come from different places. I want you to know if you believe that God called me, you are connecting, I have faith for you. And I believe God is going to do it. But that thing, yesterday I said people should pray for three things. Abi, if you remember, I want you to pray for something that it is a concern to you. You want to move forward and you want that situation to change. Say, My Father, my Father, send help to me by the anointing of favor upon my life. Let me begin to attract every good thing to my life and my family can you pray that prayer from your heart pray in the name of Jesus Christ pray in the name of Jesus Christ if it has to do with your children God will sort them out everything that will give you joy fulfillment this very month tell the Lord about it talk to God about it let help come those of you that are in business, let contract begin to flow in. Let there be door opening, leading to other doors. Those of you that are even in career, God, do something in my place of work. Idea to start off. Give me fresh ideas. Pray for your children. Let favor locate my children. Favor over my household. Help us begin to locate me. Do you believe God? He has done it before he will do it again. Don't bother yourself how God will do it. Just believe that my status is changing. It's going to be a new dawn. This week that I start today. <laughs> oh, things to begin to happen. In high places, things begin to happen. God connect me. God connect me. God bless me. God bless me. God bless me. Send help us to me. I don't know how to do it. Those who that will teach me how to do it, God send them to me. God send them to me. In high places, announce me. Let people gather together to favor me. Let people gather together to favor me. Let all my dreams begin to come to manifestation. Manifestation of favor. I need manifestation of your favor. The favor upon my life. Let me see the manifestations. By the reason of new happenings. By the reason of breakthroughs. By the reason of blessings. 
As God's change, my God will never change. As God's change, my God will never change. The same yesterday, today, and forever. As God's change, my God will never change. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. My Father in heaven, the Almighty God, your people are the proof of my apostleship. What you begin, you are doing in their life is the confirmation that you have sent me to bless lives. And the Bible says, whosoever I bless shall be blessed. Lord, I stand in this office. I commit your people, everybody under the sound of my voice, either in the church or online. I pray that this June, there shall be special favor. That you will single them out in the midst of multitude. And you favor them in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that is struggling against your lifting, I command the ground to open and swallow them. Anybody that is out to trouble you, that is persecuting you, that is shooting arrow against you, let the arrow go back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. What they have designed, planned for you, the same pit, let them begin to fall into it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today <laughs> that the days of your struggle is over. Everything that becomes shapeless in your life, I put them to shape in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask that the light will shine. Receive the oil of favor. The anointing of favor. Receive the fragrance of favor. The people that people will see you they will say where have you been those that will help you where have you been those if you told this son who see ninu aye ta won ti o nshi ba se e lo re ton wa e ka kire tun o ri e lati o ni lo ninu aginju to son who say afa o jade mo ni ni oruko jesus o ya ma jade aye to ye ko wa tu won ti gba lowo re to wa ni ibujoko mo dibi ti olore ti nwa ori mo gbadura loruko jesu gbogbo awon eniyan to ti joko si aye to to si o to ti gba ipo lowo re o ti se pasipa aro fun o bo gbadura gbogbo ko ogo to so oya ma gba pada owo olorun ninu aye re Loruko Jesu ko ma fa lo si be giga. Mo ni ko si eni to n ri parfum. To n sa fe ni to ba wo perfume. Oorun didun ma jade ni ma ye ni e. Bo gbadura. Parfum oju rere ko luwa ko da si olara. Mo ni ororo oju rere ko luwa ko da si olara. Ni bi to ba tin lo. Igba ye ko ma wu awon eni. And when you go, my sorry, come, come. Let it share, Lori. Let it run, Lowa. Both by drop, both by queer, and you can all go, all go, you're down low. When you call one, 100, we answer you. In the name of Jesus. All that you ought to have attained since the beginning of this year. Let God fast forward it for you. Let God fast forward your life. Let God fast forward your destiny. In the name of Jesus. There shall be manifestations of favor in your marriage, manifestation in your business, manifestation in your career, manifestation in your talents, manifestation in the life of your husband or your wife, manifestation in the life of your children. There shall be manifestation. Everything that is making you to be sorrowful is cancelled today money shall work for you money shall flow in your direction 
Because whatever you lay your hands, you begin to prosper. I decree it today by the anointing and the grace of God upon my life that the Lord launch you to seasons of favor. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Shout Amen. Somebody say I receive. Say I receive. Say I receive. Somebody say it's my season. It is a new season. So shall it be. For in Jesus mighty name we receive. Amen. Put your hands together to celebrate the Lord.